Hello everyone and welcome back to CJ Explores. We have just spent a couple of days at Lake Bennett. We stayed in the El Lago Holiday Park. And it's such a nice spot to stay. Um, we got to get the drone out, we got to do some paddle boarding and kayaking. But we have come a couple of hours south now. And we are in Nutmaluk National Park. Right now we are on the Edith Falls track and we are going to head up to the upper pool at Edith Falls. So today is another 40 degree day here in the Northern Territory. It's very hot, not a great time to be walking, but we know that the pool at the top is gonna to be worth it. Um, Charlie and Sarah have actually come here before. They said, if you're gonna to go to Edith, go to the top. So we're with them today, tag below. So there is a little lookout, it's called Leilani Lookout I think it is, and it looks over the massive lagoon at the bottom of Edith Falls. There's a few people down there having a little float in the sun. It looks pretty nice but we are going to crack on back to the main track and uh, get to the top of the falls. It's actually the Le Leilin track and uh, there are some little bits off it where you can see little glimpses of Edith Falls below. It looks very, very inviting from up here especially in this 40 degree heat. It's only a couple hundred meters from here. Whew. Leyland Circuit isn't the easiest of paths to navigate. If you do find yourself um, getting off balance quite easily, it's probably not recommended. Um, but if you're fit and able, um, it's definitely doable. What a place this is. So you have some very um, open rock area where you can explore around the rocks. But very, very cool and open. Um, and then you have the waterfall flowing over the red rocks at the top with a nice dark uh, wet stone. And a few little pools to hop in and check out. What a place. Finally, time to get in. Oh, oh that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. So we've found a really good jump spot right next to the waterfall, just on the right hand side. And you can climb right up that ledge and the cliff is just sheer cliff face. So you can jump off any height you want. And it's so deep there. But yeah, we have just been loving it. We have the whole place to ourselves now. So we're um, probably gonna take our phones down there and get some cool shots. And uh, I need a new GoPro battery. Safety first. <laughs> Corey doesn't do safety first, he climbs up scary things. Yeah. But that was a much needed cool down. Yeah. Been out about one minute and already ready to go back in water. <laughs> we're gonna go find some showers and then we're gonna hit the road and carry on and head to the gorge and find somewhere to camp there tonight. Okay guys, we left Edith for, we went to Catherine, got some supplies and now we're at the Nipmuluk Visitor Centre. Um, we're going to go and visit the Catherine Gorge tomorrow where this is located. Um, so we're going to go and pay for some camping for the night and then we're booked on a tour for tomorrow. It's four hours and a boat takes us through the first gorge and then we have canoes. So we've seen this online, it looks amazing, so we're pretty excited to do that. And yeah, we're going to go pay for our spot and go check out the camping site. So we just got to Catherine Gorge and um, we're setting up camp and noticed that a banana was missing some of its skin. We've just seen the culprit. 
We've got a little dingo baby, a dingo pup has visited our camp. This morning we got up super early um, at the campsite and we have come down to Second Gorge and we just had a little boat cruise through the first. Um, last night we did see a couple of dingoes at camp, so that was cool, little pups, and they came back to visit this morning. We got some shots of them. Um, I'm hoping to see a few fresh. Yeah, we're looking out for freshies because there are a lot. Apparently it's safe to swim with freshies. Not sure if I trust the man on the boat, but that's what he said. <laughs> through here, the water is too shallow so we have to hop out and carry our canoe across the rocks. That was really tricky. <clears throat> I don't know if that was worth it. Someone said that's because it's quite low the water here, but still, that's bloody hard. Gorge number three now. And, uh, as high as gorge number two. Gorge number two is definitely more dramatic and I think that's where everyone gets the, the iconic Catherine Gorge shots. Um, but we are going to go to the end of this gorge before we turn back and catch our picker, the boat down gorge one. We're going to go for a swim now. Uh, apparently there's only freshies in here. And they shouldn't attack you. Apparently. Ah. Charlie's going to do a jump and I'm going after. Ooh. Probably one of the bigger jumps that I've done recently. Um, and made my ears ring, but it was very good and I do feel alive. We're heading back now. We've got about an hour until our boat departs, um, but we shouldn't be shouldn't be stretched for time. We're just cruising back with the current. We're inside a cave. Nice and shady in here. It's cool. So there are freshwater crocs here at Catherine Gorge, and some of the beaches are no-go zones because it's where they're nesting. So this particular little beach here, you can't go and sit on it because there are crocodile nests up here. The reason that they don't want visitors to go onto the beach is that we could stand on their shells and we could uh, ruin their nest and that's not very nice. So we're going to stay out here. Yeah, you don't want to piss off a croc. You want to make a mommy croc angry. Um, our friends did see a freshwater croc up in Gorge Free. They said it was probably about this big. So they are about, they are very dangerous and they've never attacked humans. We're not really their food type. So it's not too bad, but still, I kind of want to see one, but from inside a canoe, not in the water. Alright, the boat's back. We're gonna. <laughs> Head now back to the visitor centre, maybe have a little freshen up, then I'm going to head into Catherine and we're going to plan the next day because tomorrow we are going to WA. <laughs> <laughs> 